Member! Right? Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were ever to look into these phone numbers, it would all be over for you. That is why you had to kill. No, this is too much! Mmm, that doesn't make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I, um, I... I got you now. I, I, that, I, that police officer. Objection! Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, this is, this, this is unjust badgering of the witness. Uh, again. <laughs> you said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago, and only a few minutes after the, uh, before that. P -p please please let's think about the content of that phone call. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Birdie, Bird, whatever, to get his phone back. Why then, why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm, that is a valid point. It's not invalid. Hmm. What does the defense think about this point? Uh... Hmm, if you think about it logically, then it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to me. Then maybe we should th be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, let's see. Maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well... I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly matter. manner. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, I know! I know! I know! Why? He had to kill that guy because he didn't understand that they were on a date! Or that they were both police officers. He just saw one dude in a uniform and assumed that she had somehow got, given the phone to a police officer and the police officer had looked through the numbers of the phone, so he had to kill that guy because he thought that he knew the... the numbers of the phone and stuff. Yeah, that's what happened. Holy frick. It all came to me very suddenly, and I'm very bad at explaining things, but you know what? The game will explain it. Let's keep reading. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have unfriendly been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well then, Mr. Wright, what was the something that didn't agree with the witness? His uniform, his uniform, his uniform, his uniform. Is this his uniform? No, that's not his uniform. This is his uniform? Yes. Present. Ow! <laughs> I completely missed the desk and just hit my finger on the edge of it. <laughs> uh, I need to stop doing that. The witness saw this. Mr. Wellington, is he correct? Question mark? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. By the expression of space, I would say that wasn't it. it looks like I was wrong. <laughs> right, right, right. Try to think before you present again. So he went to get his cell phone back. When he got there, he lost control of himself. It was probably because he saw something that was really bad for him there. And that really bad thing was... Well then, Mr. Wright, what was the something that didn't agree with the witness? It was his uniform! I don't know- Here, present! Take this! What? <laughs> okay, the victim! Yeah, you saw the victim! The, the, the victim? Do you, you mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. See, I was in the right direction. I just, I just didn't present the right thing. With no time to change, he went to the park, still, well, still wearing his police uniform. Oh! Yep. The girl that picked up my phone is with the policeman. They couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible they had already run a check on the phone. And he went into a panic? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. How rude. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hmm, it seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... <laughs> Impressive, not bad for a 
person with a third-rate education. What's that supposed to mean? L evidence! Evidence! Ugh! That guy is really creeping me out. All you've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone number this. Suspicious con group that. They're all on that phone. But who's to say the phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence? I'm gonna call it! <laughs> you want proof that this phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier. That phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't have even the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. You can't be sure it's m it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? Oh, yes I can. I can be sure that is yours, and that phone in your hand is mine! <laughs> it feels so good to see you squirm. Hmm, we do seem to have a problem on our fans with this phone, on our fans, on our hands. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's mean meaningless as evidence. Your Honor! This is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm, this cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's gotta be. Hmm, maybe. The phone's stored numbers? Fingerprints on the phone? Fingerprints on the phone? I don't know. I got it. We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off. I, I what? <laughs> you said there was sand all over it, so... But I wiped it. I wiped it. Pretty thoroughly, too. <laughs> It's oh so much fun watching third-rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Uh, he's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see? Oh, and incidentally, incidentally, you can't check the number store on this phone. And why is that not? It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. AKA, you deleted my numbers, you tool! Frick! You've got to be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. Mr. Wellington. What's this? From the way you talk to me, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? Thoughts. <laughs> you are too much. And of course you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, question mark? I, I... Oh my god! Now I remember! Oh good, my amnesia's over. Tots. Beep. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Oh good, I finally found it. So that's when... Woo! What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why is, the, why is the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but in the end it didn't even matter. If you don't do something quick, he's gonna get off scot-free! I know. I know this phone has to be his. But how am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright, if you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like you came up a penny short. Where? Where did I go wrong? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. The night goes on and I'm fading away. Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? What's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet? Who I am? My name is Phoenix Wright and I'm an ace attorney. The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. <laughs> if that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at the ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. <sighs> Thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? My su no! Raise an objection! Hold it! Please don't wait, Your Honor. <laughs> All right, Nick! I think I may be able to prove it. Yeah, come on, prove it, Nick. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. Objection! Y your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended. If he questions the witness with any more of his badgering, 
You will not arrest the witness, is that clear, Mr. Wright? That's fine. I'm just gonna call my phone. T did you hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Please, Your Honor. Very well, but this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. Uh, you may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only get one shot at this. If you cannot prove everything, it's over for your client and for you. So dramatic. Do you fully understand? Yes, Your Honor. OBJECTION! <laughs> I'm sure you are well aware, Your Honor, but the cross-examination period has ended. You already said that, you lurry nerd! Are you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance. It all comes down to this. It's go time. It's go time. It's go time. It's the one more evidence. The one last piece of evidence I haven't done anything with. It's, uh, my number. My number. We're gonna call my number. Why, thank you. How nice. Here, please have one of mine. <laughs> okay, thank you, Judge. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't the time to be exchanging business cards. Your Honor, there is something very important about that card, and that is... The name of the back of the card. The back of the card. Oh, frick. <laughs> okay, that was, uh, you didn't need to see that. <laughs> this card is important because of what is on the back. Hmm, you wrote your cell phone on, you wrote your cell phone on the number of the back, the, your, what? What did I just say? Whatever. Hmm, you wrote your cell phone number on the back, but that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? But court is still in session. It's okay, you'll see. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? You're going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Uh, of all the idiotic, stupid things to... Ooh. I like this ringtone. Is that the frickin' sam samurai guy ringtone? I can't remember what that show was called. <laughs> it's the samurai case's sound. It <laughs> song. Uh, what? Why is my phone? And what is with the stupid sounding ringtone? Beep. Mr. Wellington. Our phones are very similar in color and shape, aren't they? Dots. Hmm. How strange. I could almost swear that you're holding my phone. Your Ugh! No, 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 it can't. By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain any further except to say... When you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the, win the wrong one! When you went, not want. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Whoa, man, she's so dramatic. Oh. That's a very long scream. You're gonna, you're gonna, okay. <laughs> you're gonna do that, is what I wanted to say. So that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on his pride and self-image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. Then, then Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding. This is Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Uh, he, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Oh, good. <laughs> Very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant Maggie Bird! Not guilty. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! I win! That is all. This court is adjourned. I win! I win! September 8th, 2.16 p.m. Wow, it's been a while. W weren't we in here all morning? My gosh. The district court defendant lobby number one. I knew that the real you would shine through eventually. I'm so moved by what you've done for me, sir. Ow. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? It couldn't have been that bad, could it? 
since I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. <laughs> How did you survive that? I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods. How are you still alive? Failed at almost every test I've ever taken. How did you become a policewoman? Experienced almost every kind of disaster. And never won or even tied at a game or of tic-tac-toe. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh, pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. Didn't somebody say that? No, I don't think so. And then at the acad academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Lady... Lady Luckless? Uh, that's not my voice. That's not right. That's a man voice. <laughs> What's worse is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, uh, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pe 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 pedestrian cost walk. I gave her my hand and... Before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. How was that a bad thing? <laughs> oh. I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true! That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault, Dustin's death. Your head being all messed up. Uh, well, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. <laughs> I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet, I'm gonna make it, I promise. Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Y yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> Go for it. Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should be going. Okay, good luck to you. Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. Okay, bye. Huh, what a horrible day. I've gotten my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here it goes. So this might sound bad, but, uh... Who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back! Apparently not all of it. <laughs> At that moment. Everything really did come back to me. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases, but he's also been a good ally during others. Yep. The Judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who is easily swayed by other people's opinions. <laughs> yep, but in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. <sighs> this person. I haven't got a clue. He seems to know me, but maybe he's mistaken me for someone else. <laughs> Good, let's just forget he exists. And this girl, Maya? You, you finally remembered! This is Maya Faye, my assistant. That's right, I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example, Earth to Nick, what's wrong? You keep staring at me, don't tell me you've missed me. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. Even though you've never really- Wait, 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 you were gone! You were gone! Oh! Oh, this is after you left! Oh! I feel like I haven't seen you in ages! Oh? Well, I'm back now! So it's time for us to create new memories together! Alright, sounds good! All the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick! Let's go to our usual burger joint! Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been two months since she came back into my life. Oh, okay, <laughs> it hasn't been that long. <laughs> and that story... That story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Episode 1, The Lost Turnabout, the end! Woo! I win! I win! I... Oh, a brand new episode has been added. Reunion and Turnabout. And we'll be getting to that the next episode. That took me almost two hours. Holy frick. Gotcha. Yes, I would like to save. Do not turn off the power. That's fine. Anyway, this has been Invalid Ghost. Playing, uh... Phoenix Wright. Justice for All. <laughs> Ace Attorney. Uh, not in that order. It's some other order. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. The episodes anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed.
Thanks for watching.